hello everyone today I am here to teach you uh, how to check assignments in Google classroom whenever you assign uh, some kind of works to the student they will submit you the work and how you have to check I'm going to show you so for that first of all you have to open Google classroom application in your mobile here right now I am going to open now uh, go to your class uh, right now I am going to select my class 10 computer science after you select it you can see uh, what which assignment you have provided like uh, in second I have clicked in this uh, new assignment answer the following questions I'll click here uh, you can see here 33 students were assigned and two are graded means I have already checked the copy of, of two because only two have submitted this uh, was the, uh, just a trial class so I'll go in this copies who suppose um, this uh, Suraksha Padrai Suraksha Padrai has uh, submitted so I'll click on that and whenever I click on that I'll find uh, the answer of uh, Suraksha Padrai uh, with this uh, blue color uh, icon you can see here uh, blue color and red color this red color PDF is actually I have already checked and written the answer to the student uh, but I'm going to show this process again so I'll click on the answers that are provided by Suraksha Patrai so I'll click on this blue color here now whenever I click the answers will appear in my screen like this because uh, the student have typed the answers properly here now to check the copy how we have to do uh, first of all you have to just click on the pencil button at the top you can see at the top pencil here then uh, right now I have uh, already uh, checked copy so I am not going to just uh, se select existing file I will do in a create new file okay uh, because uh, it will damage the original file so I'll just create new file and here whenever you see the photo seems little bit changed but uh, it doesn't matter okay now you can zoom it so that you can clearly read the contents now there below you will find a pin with a red cap now uh, you have to click on that pin and whenever you click on that which color you would like to choose for your copy checking uh, I prefer this uh, red color because it is the uh, standard color for teachers after that I want to se I want to select the size of that pen leaves the pens nib should be very small so I'll just select on uh, second number uh, one number is very small thin so second number will be better so I'll select on second number and come in the answer sheet now I'll zoom it so that I can read it properly now I'll read it and I think it is correct one number totally so I'll give tick mark again I'll check in this way but now I while I read the answers I found one mistake for example I found mistake in this word devices then I can circle it by zooming it so it becomes easier for us to check again I found for a give for example I found a uh, mistake over this data or data here at down at down then I can circle it or if uh, we just want to underline it then I can underline it and for example if you want to make the correction for this word right over here then you circle it then you can just slightly give a small arrow and just now you can write but right now for example it is mistake whatever I wrote is mistake and I need to correct it then at the top you can find one arrow two arrows are there but one will be uh, white in color now just I click on that back then it goes back it makes the corrections again if you want to bring it back then just click the arrow next to it do the same process back again now write the proper correct word n a t work 
so why do you need to zoom it if you zoom it uh, it will be clear and the handwriting also won't be so much bad uh, so if you zoom it it will be easier to you to write and if you do not zoom it what will be the problem let's see okay if you do not zoom it your handwriting won't be very fine and uh, it will be difficult and the size of handwriting also will be very big so i'm not going i'm not going to keep it so i'm going to redo it by pressing the arrow and now uh, if you like you can give marks over here like uh, 7 out of 10 or just you can grade it later on now this is checked now i want to swipe next page then i'll just swipe sorry i'll just click on this button right ab above this uh, my notification button you can see one arrow in a black circle i'll click on that then next page appears then do the same process check next page check next page check and it is the final page so the return button is appeared so i can return and if there is some problem over here then if you do not zoom it the circle will cover most of the part but if you zoom it and circle it it will be easier and clear so uh, after you check it you can just click at the top you can see at the top below my battery bar battery percentage three dots click on that three dots then you save that click on save now whenever it is saved you will find your checked copy below the previous one previously i have checked the copy already uh, in proper manner but second one just i for, as a tutorial i checked and you can see here in the bracket one telecommunication one edited suraksha patrai networking and telecommunication one pdf this file has been created then after that you can just click on this uh, 17 by 20 right now i have already graded r so uh, if you have not graded there will you will see zero and you can just uh, give the marks like for example uh, if she got 19 then you can just type 19 or if she got only 14 then you can just type 14 but i'm not going to do that right now i'll leave it 17 and you can just press on the return button at the top whenever you press return button at the top the checked copy will be resubmitted to the students and students can view their answer sheets with the corrections made by the teacher so that's all for today how now that's all for you know uh, how the assignments are checked in Google Classroom. Thank you very much.